Moving on now, Australia and India working on further furthering ties in the space sector. On one front, the Australian Space Agency would be providing tracking support for India's astronaut mission Gaganyaan. Soon, Indian startups would be working towards launching Australian satellites from India. Enrico Payamo, the head of the Australian Space Agency, spoke exclusively to Vion's senior correspondent Siddharth Tempi. Listen in. India and Australia have had close space sector ties for several years now. To take this further, ISRO and the Australian Space Agency are working very closely. Joining us now, Mr. Enrico Palermo, the head of the Australian Space Agency. Sir, you have a target that by 2030, you will triple the Australian space economy to $12 billion. What are you doing about this and how is ISRO going to contribute towards this? Well, a key pillar in the growth of our industry is international collaboration. So as the space, the Australia's space agency, we're the front door to the world. Uh, so in 2021, we updated our MOU uh, with the Indian Space Research Organisation. And, and through that partnership, we see a way to bring out our rapidly growing ecosystems. Both in Australia and India, we see many startups in space uh, that have um, competitive strengths and collaborative strengths. And one of the key initiatives we launched is, is the India International Space Investment Initiative which will see Australian companies in space working with Indian companies. Well, tell us about the tracking support that Australia has been providing and will be providing for future Indian missions, including Gaganyaan. We're inspired by ISRO's mission on Gaganyaan uh, and we're proud to be a partner in Gaganyaan through tracking uh, facilities. Uh, so ISRO is considering a site on the Cocos Keelian Islands and we're working close with them to establish that tracking station. Um, beyond that, we're excited to see how we can support uh, what is a fantastic mission and a fantastic vision from ISRO. What are the other key technology areas that you see ASA and ISRO and Indian space sector cooperating on? Well, as I said, human spaceflight and the ground networks are involved. Uh, our experience in human spaceflight medicine, uh, optical communications, uh, small satellites, uh, but also areas that enable uh, quantum technologies in space, advanced uh, artificial intelligence, uh, computing on the edge, are all the various things we're seeing that are points of integration. Thank you very much, Mr. Palamu. Thank you. So it's just onwards and upwards from here for India and Australia space cooperation. From Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, we on World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.